What's going on guys? So I am still out here at the Hershey RV show. This is America's largest RV show and I'm taking a look at a product that's kind of surprising to me because the Forest River Surveyor line has always been kind of a smaller, kind of a mid-sized, more compact, full-size RV if that makes sense. It's not a teardrop or anything that small but they've always had kind of these smaller units. And in front of me is a really large travel trailer. I mean, it's, it's much larger than I'm typically used to. This is called the 305 RLBS. This is a brand new unit from, from the folks over at Surveyor. This one has limited time 400 watt solar package on board, which is super, super cool. Um, blacked out wheels, which also look really nice and so bright you have to zoom in on them to see them. But we're gonna take a closer look at this thing, see what it's all about. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So first off, I have to give a big shout out to my friends over at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring these videos. All their beds have a 10-year warranty and come with free shipping to anywhere in the U.S. We love our RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Use promo code BIGTRUCKBIGRV to receive a 25% discount. Link in the description. Thanks again. Okay, we're going to start with the numbers on this unit. So it's got a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,692 pounds, a cargo capacity of 1,039 pounds, dry weight of 8,615 pounds, and a total length of 38 feet 10 inches long. This thing is huge. Um, at first I was going to say it's kind of heavy, but for something that's nearly 40 feet long, or 39 feet long, 8,615 pound dry weight, it's not that heavy, but it is certainly heavy enough that I would recommend at least a a good tow package on a three-quarter ton truck. I would never put this behind a half-ton truck. In my opinion, this is nowhere near half-ton towable. Um, we will go over the outside of this one actually first and hop on the inside. Front power tongue jack, spot for two 30-pound propane cans. You have your battery box here. It looks like you could hold more than one battery there. I love this front cap. I think this is kind of new. This is a grand surveyor, so it's a little bit more luxurious version of a surveyor. Got a little front storage door here it doesn't pass all the way through and it's not a huge door but it's definitely a, a good spot to be able to put things in and out <laughs> then you have the ability to extend and retract your stabilization legs which are electric down here you have 110 power out here cable connection and then you have a spray port i believe so that is cool you have a water spray port becoming more and more common on rvs um, but it's still really good to see when you see them on this type of rv it has a 66 by 80 custom king bed electric uh, stabilizer jacks Electric fireplace, 50 amp service Goodyear tires, TPMS, heated tank, central vac, that's cool. 200 watt solar panel on, on top, 30 amp controller, uh, inverter prep, 15K AC, 10 cubic foot fridge, on-demand water heater, tankless water heater, that is really nice. Outside kitchen, we'll look at that here in a little bit. Um, if this one has it, I'm trying to see where the outside kitchen would be on here. I don't see it on here. Maybe this specific one doesn't have an outside kitchen, but we'll check it out. We'll see if we can find it. Uh, upgraded shower enclosure. That's going to be cool to see roller shades, two-inch accessory jack, and a PVC roof. All right. So we have the Lippert. These are the solid steps, and this is the wider version, which is really cool. You get a really nice wide platform here. A lot of stickers on the side. Love the fact that it's Asdell. Goodyear Endurance tires. Okay. Let's check this thing out. Wow, so this is a huge rear living room floor plan. This really is. I mean, check this out. You have your Furion 12 volt refrigerator there. You got this huge bar area. This is really cool, plus tons and tons of drawers. And they're really nice, fully extending drawers. I love the fact that it's finished off in a different color on the bottom. Really, really nice handles. This is a cool product. Thermofoil countertop, which is not like a granite or a Corian, a Corian. it's more like a wrapped, but it's really, really nice. You have these little hooks right here. Spot to put plates and things. It would be cool if it had a lip, but it would kind of take away from that look. Maybe a bungee cord, just so if you have glasses, plates, and things up here, you don't have to worry about them moving around. Very nice. I love the contrasting wallboard back here as well. Up here you have some nice storage. Great place for a coffee maker down here, by the way. You have your controls right here. Very simple, so very clean. A lot of times you see a big panel and even some blank spots. But this is really nice. There's your 30 amp Go Power Solar Charge Controller. Again, you have a 12 volt refrigerator from Furion. Good size refrigerator. You have a three burner gas cooktop, along with a little oven beneath it. You have your Furion compact microwave, and then some storage right there. You got a good amount of prep space on this side, plus you have a cutting board that's already included. That's really nice. 
very nice drawers here. A lot of drawers. I am a huge fan of drawers in RVs, and I think most people know that by now. And they definitely don't disappoint you. They give you a lot of drawers here, and they give you a ton of drawers right here. Big thumbs up there. Love the uh, really nice dark tinted stainless steel sink basin. Really cool looking copper sprayer up here. This looks really good. The contrasting tones here look amazing. Nice storage down here. And then you have a contrasting pantry door. So this is really, really nice. And that is a heavy duty door. That does not feel hollow at all. I really like that. A lot of pantry space. The only thing I would probably say is I'd love adjustable shelving in here. Just because this is huge openings and maybe you'd have to put an aftermarket thing, buy something on Amazon to put in here to kind of organize everything. But the openings here are just a little bit too big for my liking. I wish I had more shelves and they were close together and adjustable. That would be awesome and kind of game changing. Okay, magnetic door. Here's your TV, it is on a swivel. Has a really nice little wood piece underneath here for accent. I like the dark wallboard behind it. Nice strut arms to hold those open. Storage right here. You have a Furion sound bar, panoramic fireplace. And then a drawer underneath. You have some storage here. This is really nice. A lot of times they just kind of hide space here that is, that's not accessible. And this is very accessible. Plus you have your two end tables right here. Really nice sofa at the end and this is gonna fold out into a bed. It's an easy open bed. So it's a tri-fold, so I guess you lift here. Oh, that is super cool. So it's gonna collapse everything. I hope somebody will put this away when I'm done because I don't really want to, but we'll see. So let me move this out of the way so you can see what's going on here. That is a really, really convenient bed. Take the pillows off. And then that folds down into your bed. That is super awesome, I like that. Now to put it back, you just lift up and then push back, I'm guessing. Well, there you go. And then pillow goes back, pillow goes back. You have your one pillow there, your one pillow here, and then your throw blanket draped over. Very nice. Has blackout blinds as well, that's nice. So you can block some of that heat coming in. All the windows have it. Huge windows, these windows don't open this window doesn't open, but these do. So you can get cross ventilation here and there. That one pops open and here and there. But a lot of windows though, and they're big windows. A lot of light coming in here. I love the LED strip above the slide out. Something that you never saw like five years ago. All puck lighting going throughout here. The unit's actually staying pretty dang cool um, with the AC and the door open. And this is really cool. You have a cool little overhang area here, kind of like a little bar. So you can put some bar stools underneath here and have a nice little eating area here as well. This is awesome. Nice comfortable seats. These are really nice seats. No storage underneath. I didn't think there was because of the wire legs. This right here is a bench and I think there's gonna be storage underneath it. I'm pretty sure there is or there's a unique way you lift this up. Let's see. Oh, so this is that cool little table thing. So this turns into a tabletop. It folds up like that and then there's storage in it, and you can use it in front of the sofa if you wanna work or use it as a desk or a table to eat on. I really like that. I didn't know what to expect with this hard piece of wood right there. All right, let's work our way back. Nice little bottle opener here, thermostat. Here's your bathroom. Very nice bathroom, porcelain foot flush toilet, huge shower. So the shower's actually really nice, and. It's pretty dang tall. You could probably be upwards of about 6'3", comfortably fit under the ceiling part, and then 6'5", to fit inside of the skylight. Nice hanging loops right there for your towels. Nice countertop, a lot of countertop space here. I really like that. Very, very nice. You have all your controls here, on-demand water heater. You have your medicine cabinet right here. It's currently latched shut with the bungee cord so it doesn't open during transit. And you got storage underneath here as well. Nice sliding pocket door. Have some dog bowls there. That is a huge wardrobe. Oh, along with fireplace. I wasn't expecting that. Very nice. A lot of drawers. Not really big drawers. That's the only big drawer you have. You could still fit a lot of clothes in here, but check out the closet. So the closet has lots and lots and lots of storage space in it. You got this huge shelf on the end. You fit shoes, clothes, pants, shirts, whatever you want in there, plus more space on top. This is like the front of a fifth wheel. All right, 
very cool and then you have these really cool barn doors to slide shut the bed area is also really nice you got a king size bed in here i love the end tables they don't fold out over to the bed really nice um, you have a window behind your headboard which is very rare you typically don't see that lots of cabinets up top and you have a lot of cabinet space right here and i believe you can actually put a washer and dryer see these are the shelves i would love to see in the pantry i think um, it would make sense and you what you what could do you could and you know what you could actually make it mm, no you couldn't make it interchangeable but still these are the type of shelves i would love to see in the pantry i love that they're in here though very adjustable you have a rod up there and this is prepped for washer and dryer which is really nice what do you guys think this is a super cool unit i actually really like it i'd love to know your thoughts don't know what the price is but i can definitely say uh surveyor units stand out because they are doing a lot of really cool things and i really like the look of this interior what do you think of the, the furniture choice, the colors, and all of that? Leave a message below. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.